Hello, I'm Deb Robeson. You may be familiar with some books I wrote with livestock expert Carol Acarius. One is the Fleece and Fiber Source book. The other is the Field Guide to Fleece. Our excursion this time takes us to the delightful flock at Barton Hill Jacobs, tended by shepherd C.C. Katchik. Hi, I'm C.C. Katchik and I raise Jacob sheep because who wouldn't? They're adorable. The spots, the horns, and this is a breed that almost became extinct. We love them and their fiber, which is fun to knit, spin, weave, whatever. We hope you love them too. Jacobs got their name in England, although it's not at all clear how the sheep originally came to the British Isles. Genetics link them to Africa and southwestern Asia. All Jacobs are spotted. Some are brown and white, some are black and white. Both males and females have horns, often four, sometimes two, occasionally as many as six. Jacobs are a very old breed, so while all of them are spotted, some of them have wool that is soft enough to be next to the skin, and some of it is kind of scratchy and better for tweed. The natural spinning approach for Jacobs is woolen, so spinning for loft and bounce. In some applications, however, a worsted approach may work. Dyeing, Jacob will always need to take into account the underlying colors. In addition to the black and the white, there is a, a mid-tone that can be a soft gray or a soft brown that's referred to as lilac. British Jacobs have been bred to be larger to produce more meat. As a result, the American Jacobs are closer to the old style, much smaller, more agile. They're also listed by the Livestock Conservancy as an endangered breed. Because of the wide range of textures within Jacob fleeces, you can make anything from a fine pullover to a tea cozy or a pillow. Choose the softer wools for garments. Let the sturdier ones be in applications that require more wear. Any Jacob project will need to take into account the varied colors. You can blend them all to one tone, you can separate them out into different colors, or you can just take them as they come and get a speckled result. When I think about weaving with Jacob wool, balance structures immediately come to mind. There are cases where a warp-faced or weft-faced weave might work best, but balanced weaves are where the wool probably shines most. The coarser Jacob wools seem to ask to become tweedy fabrics. The softer ones may want to be blankets or scarves or shawls. As in any Jacob project, consider the color and how it's going to be arranged at the beginning of your project. That's all for this excursion. Thank you for joining us, and be sure to check out the other episodes in this series on the charming and versatile sheep and shepherds of the Hudson Valley.